listen, all in all, I, well, let me give you a couple of things. Mike uh, Remmers didn't finish. He hurt his back and um, came out and then Charvarius Ward um, was cleared for his head. Uh, he was checked for that and he was okay. Um, other than that, I, I'm, I'm glad to get the win and, um, and get out of here. Uh, good football team. Brian's done a nice job with it, and uh, players played hard and so on. Special teams, I thought, did a nice job today, a uh, very nice job. Their special teams are one of the top in the NFL, and I thought our guys came out and uh, really did well. And then but Bucker finished up with a, a big field goal there. Um, I thought the pressure on the quarterback was well, it was good. I, I thought defend, the defensive line did some nice things um, with the run game and the, and the pass game part of it. Uh, really, until that fourth quarter, we had a pretty good thing going. Uh, and then we've got to finish. You know, we got to finish on both sides of the ball. Make sure we take care of business there. Had a lot of yards, but uh, we've got to take care of the ball. Too many turnovers, and can't do that against good football teams. And so, I appreciated the the effort the guys uh, gave us. And um, you know, I, I just thought that they bared down and, and did a nice job with it uh, uh, to finish it off. And that. That fourth quarter. Anyways, time yours. Let's go first to Herbie T.O.B. Go to Herbie. Hey, Coach. Uh, five straight division titles now. What, what does that mean to you in that locker room, knowing that you've, you've won five straight division titles? And you always preached uh, parity, but five straight is pretty impressive. Yeah, well, listen, uh, it's been obvious. They don't give those away. So they give the hats away. But they don't give uh, these championships away. So um, I'm proud of the guys for that. We all know that we need to keep going. So. Um, it's a nice accomplishment by the whole organization. I mean, this just isn't uh, one person or anything else. I mean, this is a whole organization uh, from the Hunt family down uh, to Mark Donovan and Brett Veach. I mean, everybody's, uh, everybody's had a piece of this. So, um, and we all know that we, we got to keep going and, and keep improving. So uh, that, that'll, be the, that'll be the goal going forward. <laughs> Go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Andy. Um, this is the second time in three weeks you've had trouble defensively finishing out a game, uh, counting the Tampa game. I was wondering if there's something you can put your finger on that's kind of a common thread there. And, Brad, I'll have a, a quick follow-up, too. Yeah, well, I, I think, you know, probably the primary thing is that we, we end up winning the game, which I, I don't want to lose focus on. They're a good football team, a playoff caliber team. So, um, you know, and we could have helped out offensively too. So it's a, it was a team thing that we just, we need to finish and I'll take responsibility for that. I could have been more uh, aggressive as a play caller and so on. So uh, it starts with me and, and that's where we roll. All right. And also um, that fourth down you had on the, the final drive where you went forth and threw the pass to Tyreek, uh, was that a difficult decision or were you thinking we're going for this the whole time? Uh, we were going for it the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go next to Sam Millinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Andy, um, kind of a general question here, I understand, but uh, the Dolphins defensively, it looked like, especially kind of in the middle part of the game, they were focused more on coverage than pressures. But anyway, I'm just curious what you saw with that and, and what gave you guys trouble and also how you guys were able to break through against a good defense. Yeah, listen, I, mean, I tried to run the ball a little bit there, um, and they were zero blitzing, and, um, you know, I could change things up a little bit. That's my responsibility to do that. So they did a nice job. They did a nice job. They just kind of went all in on it and came after us. And um, normal situations, you, you know, you call some other things, but I, I should probably have done that. Let's go next to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Coach, can you just put into context the year that Travis is having this year, 136 yards today? I feel like he's been Mr. Reliable when you all need him the most. Yeah, he did. Nice. He's done a nice job. Um, like any game, there are things that he can do better. But I mean, I mean, let's not slight him. He's he's done, he's done great, and um, you know, and he's, you know, he's loving every minute of it. He and the quarterback have a good relationship, so they're they're working it together. They have a lot of trust in each other. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, coach. Congrats on the win uh, and game plan. Wanted to ask you about Xavier Howard, 25 for them. How important, and I know he got you for one, but how important was it to find creative ways to maybe free up Tyreek Hill for, as far as you guys having Cess in that middle middle portion of the game? 
No, he's one of the best corners in the National Football League. <clears throat> and um, that catch he made was phenomenal. And we've seen him do it before. If, if you underthrow it an inch, you know, it's just uh, he can go up and do what he did. And he's playing as well as any corner in the National Football League right now. So, um, you know, we had a couple and, and he got that one. So that was the, uh, I like to have that one back. Got time for a few more guys. We're going to start with Todd Lebo. Go ahead, Todd. Hey, Coach. Patrick doesn't have days where he throws multiple interceptions very often. When, when you had him over there on the sideline, what's his, uh, you know, attitude like when he comes over? I imagine he's pretty even keeled. But do those things affect him during the game? Um, no, I, you know, I don't want him to affect him. I want him to keep firing. So just learn from it and let's, let's go. If it, if it was that, or was it a receiver or was it a, the you know, whatever it was, let's just learn all of us. Let's learn from it and let's not let it happen again. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. And it kind of similar to what Pete asked earlier, but it, it seemed like they had some heavy concentration on Tyreek Hill. And I know you guys have seen that plenty this season and, and past seasons. What's sort of the balance, though, in wanting to get um, maybe one of your best weapons involved versus just just kind of spreading out to what else is available? Yeah, well, Pat does a good job of doing that. I mean, he spreads it around and gives everybody an opportunity. We've got good players, and um, and he's willing to get it to them. So, uh, and they did. They had a plan for him uh, for both he and Kels. And uh, you know, that's a uh, it's a tribute to Pat, though, moving people around and using using his throws to other people. We'll go last to Vahe Gregorian. Good Vahe. Hey, Andy. Uh, sort of also with regard to Patrick, you know, I think he's played so remarkably so consistently that I think it's easy for, sometimes for people to forget he's human. What, what, what does it say about him, though, that he, he can go through a stretch like that and then just kind of have the same sort of game he normally does? Yeah. Um, well, it's a tribute to his greatness. So he, he – uh, he works through it uh, like anybody else, any other player. He's got to work his tail off to uh, to be great. And so you 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 know I don't want to slight that part either. So uh, he spends a ton of time at it. He works with his teammates. He's engaging with them. He's honest with them. He's honest about himself. He's honest about uh, the guys that he's working with, and he brings it all together. So uh, it's tribute to the kid. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you.